up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sunset and Waves, coming at you once again on the YT. And um, I wanted to post a video because something between yesterday and today kind of struck a nerve with me. <laughs> and it has something to do with natural hair. And, um, you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I've covered, you know, certain topics in regards to natural hair and my feelings. And... This is going to be one of those videos. If you look at the title, you know what this video is about. Okay, so, all right. What is the problem with Blue Ivy's hair? Now, I know some of y'all are thinking, this is so late. The girl is one. People have been talking about this girl's hair. Forever. I get that. I get that. However, I don't expect a lot of stuff from certain people. Like, I don't expect certain things from certain people okay now blue ivy everybody knows is jay-z and beyonce's daughter okay so i know that people have been speaking about this little girl's hair now i want to say everybody but a lot of people okay now my thing is i've had friends who've even said to me like that they need to do something with that little girl's hair but i don't expect much from them because they're not natural and they don't they're, people a lot of times are envisioning braids, barrettes, bows, and all of this stuff to little girls' hairs. I mean, how many times have you seen a little girl and their hair has been snatched, okay, <laughs> all the way so that their parent could get it in one little bow and the ponytail looks like it's holding on to faith alone, okay? We've seen that where you're like, wow, that kid, they didn't even give those kids edges a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen kids like this. So, I'm going to show... A few pictures of Blue Ivy. Okay, so this, I got it toped out. This was the introduction to Little Blue Ivy that we got. Okay, so this is Little Blue Ivy. All right, so that's picture one. Okay, now this is another picture of Little Blue Ivy, and she has a little bow or flower in her hair on the side there with her father. Okay, now she's one years old. Me and she has like a little bow in her hair. Okay, so that's Blue Ivy. This is the same day with her father and the flower in her hair. Okay, so that's little Blue Ivy with her father and a flower in her hair. And you can Google these images, okay? So this is another picture of Blue Ivy with some little barrettes in her hair in the front with a pink dress on and her mother, okay? <laughs> Blue Ivy again, this is the back of her hair and she has her hair in a bow in the front where her mom, Beyonce is looking fabulous in this picture, rocking the turban, okay? <laughs> and now this is the picture, now I'm going to show the pictures that when you see pictures posted on Instagram and all this stuff talking negatively about this baby hair, these are the images that they show from this day. You got to remember when your famous paparazzi is following you everywhere you go, okay? So, it looks like they're just having casual day. She's in casual wear. And this is the picture that everybody likes to refer to in regards to this little girl's hair. The one-year-old. Okay? She's one. All right. <laughs> so, that's Blue Ivy and Jay-Z. Okay? Blue Ivy and Jay-Z again. Okay? Very casual. He has on a t-shirt. She has on a t-shirt. Don't look like they're going anywhere. Okay, now this is a different day with Blue Ivy and Beyonce and she has a little headband on. Okay, Beyonce is looking fabulous and so is Blue. I like that headband. And this is the picture that they like to use on a lot of images on Instagram or whatever when they talk about this little one-year-old baby. Okay, so this is the image they look. She's making a little smirky face and her hair is just you know, it's out, it's natural, it's not, it doesn't have any bows or anything. And you know, she's a toddler, so I'm sure she touched her hair and fiddled in her hair. So this is a picture of Beyonce's baby that they love to use, baby blue ivy, okay? So there, that same day, all of this is that same day, okay? She looks like her father there, that same day. All right, so we go in here, all right, now, Carter. That's my little boo-boo, okay? <laughs> Carter again, okay? All 
All right, so now my son, okay, is one years old. Like, so Carter and Blue Ivy are pretty much the same in age, okay? I must say, I get offended in a way when people talk about Blue Ivy's hair because Carter's a boy. So he never has the luxury of wearing bows and barrettes and bobos. No, okay? He's a boy, all right? So he doesn't do that. And I'm not going to cornrow his hair because Carter's hair is very fine. And depending on the amount of hair and the thickness of your hair, you know, it's curly, but it's it's not like, okay, so when I put it in braids, the parts look spread apart, okay, and it just, the braids don't look thick. You understand what I'm saying? It's like a thin braid, okay? So it doesn't look thick. So to me, I don't find cornrows with Carter's hair visually appealing, okay? So I'm going to put that out there. So I don't braid Carter's hair in cornrows really because I don't think it looks that good. Now I've done twists and stuff, but he takes the twist out. He's a toddler. He puts his hands in his hair. He takes the twist out. If I want to maintain Carter's twist, this is what I do. I put a stocking cap on his head. But then he looks like he's thugging at the daycare. Okay, so <laughs> this is what I got to do if I want to maintain his twist. Okay, so, so now what sparked this? Okay, to whom much is given... Much is required. Again, to whom much is given, much is required. And I say that to say, I expect certain things from certain people. And certain people I don't expect those things from because I'm not surprised by their ignorance. I'm not surprised by their ignorance and I'm not expecting more from that person. Okay? Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this thing. I follow Beautiful Brown Baby Doll's Instagram. When I went on her Instagram and saw her post this, 14 songs, 17 videos, but not one comb on Instagram in regards to Baby Blue Ivy hair, I was like very disappointed. I was like, wow, really? Ain't you the same person who made the video about Gabby Douglas and why are people hating on Gabby Douglas's hair? So it's not okay to hate on Gabby Douglas's hair, but it's okay to hate on a one-year-old baby's hair. Is it an issue because Beyonce is her mother? Like, I don't know what the issue is. So why are we coming for this baby? I really have a problem with that. And I have a problem with that because I'm a parent. And I'm like, wow, if Carter was a girl, people would be talking bad about my kid. I Don't get it twisted. People have said comments to me about Carter's hair. And I'd be ready to punch them in their face. I'd be ready to punch them in their face just for the simple fact that, first of all, that's my son. That's a part of me. That's an extension of me, okay? And I would not have my son walking this earth looking any kind of way. So if I feel that it's acceptable then you need to either do that phony smirk when you see him or shut your mouth. That's it. I don't expect people to, you know what I'm saying, feel like Carter's swag is on point every day. But at the end of the day, you need to respect that he is a child. He is one years old, okay? And I'm doing the best I can and doing what I see fit as a parent for my child, okay? Carter's always dressed to impress. He's always clean, okay? And his hair, depending, I mean, it's winter season, I put a hat on, depending on whether I put a lot of product or not in his hair, when I take that hat off, it might look any kind of way, okay? I actually find that with hat hair, his hair looks better when I don't put a lot of product and I take the hat off. But my issue is this. I've been watching you for five plus years. I expect more. Does that mean that I think she's a horrible person? No. Does that mean, do I think that her choice, and then see her comment to it originally was, ha, 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 I wasn't ready. That was her comment under it. It was, ha, 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 I wasn't ready. And I believe it may have had an emotion next to it, like a, you know, smiling emotion or whatever. I don't, I don't know particularly if they had that because she removed the comment. Now, I had posted a comment because people were going in. People were going in. I waited a while because I said, let me get out your feelings, Nye. Okay, because this woman, she's very brilliant. She's very smart. She has encouraged you a lot in regards to weight loss, in regards to natural hair. You've been watching her for five plus years. Get out your feelings and simmer on it and see if you want to comment. 
I simmered on it and I said, you better, you need to comment. You need to comment. So I said, I was disappointed when I saw that she posted this as well, because I would hate for something like this to be said about my son. His hair is just like Blue Ivy's and he's only one years old. Blue is rocking her hair as is without bows, etc. And it's fine to me. I don't agree with posts. But let's remember, beautiful brown baby doll is not perfect. I still support her because this does not change the many things I love and respect about her. For over five years, she has been an inspiration to me. What I view as a moment of pure humor does not change who she is to me. Smart, inspirational, intelligent, and beautiful. That's what I put, and I stick by that. I still think that she's smart. I still think that she's intelligent. I still think that she's beautiful, okay? I do. But my issue is this. She removed the comment, ha, 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 I wasn't ready to the post, but then when people confronted it on, confronted her on it and kept confronting her, she then resp replied, you know what, um, this was just me posting a video, a picture just to, just to hear the opinions of my supporters. However, if you look at her Instagram, every time somebody posts a negative comment, for the most part, she says, if you wish to unfollow, unfollow. I simply posted a picture. First off, you posted a picture and it did have a comment under it, which you removed. Okay. And <laughs> that's just what it is. I can't prove that she made the comment, but I can prove this. <laughs> when you, when you go to her Instagram the majority of the pictures that she posts, she always leaves a comment in the, you know, the, the, the first comment. She always leaves the first comment stating how she feels about the picture or her image that she posted. That's number one. When you leave a comment on Instagram, it has the original comment and then it has a space for the rest of the comments. The original comment is not beautiful brown baby dolls anymore. It's somebody else's name and then it says load more comments and then it has the rest of the comments. That's not how it works. Usually it keeps your comment always at the top because you're the original commenter and then it says load more in this. She removed her comment. That's plain and simple. I'm not saying I'm not going to support her. I Please do not mistake this. What I'm saying is I expected more from her. And my thing is people were posting three weeks ago a whole bunch of stuff in support of this little girl called Vanessa Van Dyke. Her name is Vanessa Van Dyke. And... Taryn even was a big supporter of this little girl, Vanessa Van Dyke. She was in school and the school said that her hair was a distraction and that she needed to cut her hair. Everybody then on Instagram for three, for, for that whole day, okay, that whole day was posting pictures next to their picture saying, I am Vanessa Van Dyke in support of this little girl. How dare this school tell this little girl that she needs to cut her natural hair off. She's ro rocking it as is and she's an honor student and she's a smart little girl. Okay, so everybody was in support of this. Okay, when it comes to you at your job, you want to be able to wear your hair natural. You know what I'm saying? People want to, they see all this big hair and they're saying, yes, yes, yes. How many videos, we, comments we see on videos and stuff? Oh, hair porn. Yes, I love big hair. This, this, this. So now replace my face with blue ivy. Like really, you know what I'm saying? She's a little baby. She's one. So we can tease and and, and mock and, and taunt this one-year-old little girl. I mean, and people say, oh, we, you know, it's a Beyonce thing. This doesn't got shit to do with Beyonce. If this was anybody else's kid, I would feel the need to chime in. Because I don't expect it from the natural hair community. I don't. I expect you to do better. I expect you to do better. And my thing is, I have friends who've made negative comments about Blue. And I'm like... Really? You're going in? So what, should she slap a, slap a perm in her hair? Should she put some weave in her hair? Like, what do you expect this little girl's hair? First of all, Blue's hair ain't even that long. It don't even appear to be that long. So I don't know how much they expect. Do you expect her to snatch up every piece of hair and have her hair hanging on faith alone? You know, like, what's the difference between big hair and say, I don't care, I rock my fizzy hair? What's what's the difference from saying that and seeing shameless Maya do that movement and us loving it and then now we're knocking a one-year-old where do you draw the line your girl sunset and waves peace